talking horse, load versus height. Uh, a forklift is designed to lift heavy stuff. It has a counterbalance, which is this whole chunk here. It's the whole bumper that it's um, made of. And it's made typically of steel. But if you lift a load which is too heavy above a certain height, it can tilt too far and fall over, which is bad. Okay, number two, water. Electric battery powered forks need to be topped off every now and then with distilled water, just enough to cover the plate and you should only top off after charging, not before. Number three, what's that smell? If a forklift starts to give off a rotten egg smell while charging, shut off the charger and then get the battery to professional maintenance. The smell is caused by a faulty battery feeding off toxic hydrogen sulfide gas. A normally charging battery will give off only hydrogen gas and oxygen. Number four, what's that fluff? Don't touch it without gloves. A forklift battery is filled with an electrolyte of water and sulfuric acid. During charging, the released gases leave a residue of sulfuric acid, which gradually corrodes metal components, leaving this fluffy yellow-white powder. The powder will gradually damage battery terminals, cell caps, cables, and other parts, and the residue should be removed. Number 5. Cushion versus Pneumatic The average fork speed is about 10 miles per hour. Because forklifts don't need to go very fast or very far, vibration and ride softness aren't really a concern, especially when they're used indoors, on flat concrete or asphalt surfaces. Um, these forks tires are cushion tires made of solid rubber. The rear wheel controls the fork's direction, kind of like a reverse tricycle. Uh, there are forks with pneumatic tires too. They're usually bigger. Number six, uh, you need a license to operate a forklift. Number seven, forklift orders are a real thing. 